everyone, I'm Brooke and this is Ammon Acres. Today we are planting elven thyme in between all of the cracks in the stone pathways between the stones and I thought I would take you along. What I have is 90 of the four inch elven thyme pots and I am cutting those into four different plants. I already did a little experiment to make sure that they would survive and I'll show you that now. They did fine. They actually started blooming pretty quickly afterwards. It was about a week and a half after I planted them and had cut them into fours that they started blooming. So I'm going to say that works out really well and this way I can stretch my dollar a little bit more because elven time is expensive. I'm going to be planting those today and I thought I'd bring you along. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is work around the dogs because that's inevitably what always happens. After I do that though, I am going to use my weeding tool and just mark in the areas in between the stones where I want to plant the elven thyme. I want to make sure that I don't condense them so much that <laughs> I get to the middle and, and I don't have any left. So at first I'm going to mark where I want these, make sure I account for all of the plants that I want to put in the ground, and then I'll go back through and use the auger to drill a little hole and plop the plants in. So let's get started. And I'm going to start in the shade because shade is my friend. We have been setting record temps for October in Oregon. We've been having mid 80s, which is really unusual. Generally, our average temperatures are mid 60s. So we're about 20 degrees hotter than we normally are and extremely dry. And that's not great for our rain and our, our water needs, but it is good for my garden projects because I'm just running behind this year, so. Hi, adding one more to the mix. And you can see over on this side that I did not continue the stones this way. That's because the fence is still behind the camera right now. And we'll be removing that hopefully next year. And at that point, I will continue the stones this way to go around this garden bed. But for now, I chose not to do it because I was pressed for time. So I should tell you, elven time gets about what we were told was it gets about eight inches wide. It grows to about eight inches wide. So we are trying to keep that in mind as we place the plants, but I will be placing the plants potentially further apart than that just because it does flower, so it does seed out, and long term I can use those seeds to fill in small spaces that I have left blank. And I talked to the garden center about that and they said that's a really good idea. So we're gonna be maybe planting them slightly further than eight inches apart, and that's just how it goes. Elven thyme also grows really, really slowly. <laughs> like really slowly. So this is going to be a long-term project. This is a labor of love that will take a while. It's not an overnight thing. So here we go. And I am just eyeballing this as I did with the stones. I'm not doing this the way Ian would do this. Ian would pull out his tape measure and have everything really quite perfect. And that is just not my modus operandi. So I'm just eyeballing it. First time using the auger. My mother-in-law got this for me for Christmas last year and I haven't had a chance to use it. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little hole. Let's see if that's a big enough auger for this. It is leaving it nice and fluffy, but it's also like filling in the hole with the fluff. Oh, this is so much better than digging. These guys fare just as well as the ones I did previously. Thank you. 
day two. As you could tell by the last scene, I worked until it was dark and then I worked a little bit more. I actually ended up working until I could not see where I had planted the plants anymore and I was worried about stepping on them. So at that point I stopped. Now it's day two. We're gonna finish up hopefully the creeping time. It's just taking me a lot longer these days to do things, but hopefully we're gonna finish it up and have that done today. So let's get started. joining me on this project. I really enjoyed being able to document getting these little tiny elven thyme plants in. It's very exciting to see them get these little tiny plants and I know they're going to grow over the years and I just love seeing the beginning shots and the beginning photos. I'm going to take you through a final walkthrough to show you the spacing. I have a couple more pots of elven thyme that I have left over that I'm going to look for places I can put them because some places do have wider spacing than others because I was being conservative I didn't know if I would have enough. Please excuse the hose because I've been watering them. But this is ultimately what the spacing came out to. There's certain areas where I think I'll, like that one, I'll probably add, and it's a man's, I'll probably add some more um, elven thyme that I have left over. But overall, I'm really quite happy with how it's turned out. I cannot wait to see all of these fill in. I appreciate you joining me today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you have any type of stone pathways in your garden and if you do, if you grew anything in between them. I'm always curious what other people chose. I was a little bit on the fence about what I was choosing, but ultimately the Elven Time won out. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye!
Pregnancy rhinitis. <laughs> <laughs>